Let's go. The slam has officially opened. Poetry is popular because I think it's a documentation of the time. With any sort of uh, creativity or creative creative movement, and I think I'll just go back into a little bit of art history, uh, where you had cubisms, um, 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 Dadism. That was a documentation of that time. So what you see now is that people's people feel like their voices are not being heard, right? So what you see now is that people are going out to the streets to being heard, right? And then as a digital platform, we want to facilitate all of these creative sectors, you know. So we do not just focus on poetry, but we also focus on music of the time. And, and we're just trying to solidify poetry as a, as a solid career, you know, because I feel like creativity is not really that respected in our country. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's why uh, poetry has been popular lately. It's, it's because people want to find their voices. And the best way to understand yourself is, is to write. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that's what's happening in, in, in the times of now. The most painful state of being is remembering the future, particularly one you'll never have. Yeah, on Friday it's, it's, it's going to be a jump. Yeah, it's going to be a jump. And I just also feel like it's going to be um, a little different, you know. It's going to be... going to be exciting yeah and I hope we don't get to social distance every now and again because, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm honestly 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 I'm look I'm really looking forward to the chat on Friday honestly yeah I yeah, feel you there I'm I really, really am I'm really looking forward to the community like I'm, I'm really really looking forward to the community uh, just as poets getting getting together you and know, be like Yo, what's been happening? What's happening? Yeah, what's been like happening? That. You know, uh, and I think that's that's what I miss. That's what I that's what I really really miss. That interacting and and growing. You know. Firstly, uh, just come to the slams. Uh, <laughs> just come to uh, poetry events. I think once I've, w what I've realized within the poetry space is that uh, people get a sense of community mm. and a sense of togetherness, right? So, in as much as we are there to share our work, we we also get to engage. You know, uh, it, poetry is not just about a poet coming onto stage and just sharing their work. It's about the, the conversation afterwards because there are difficult conversations that that we still need to have you know after the slam you know so it's it in as much as it is exciting right but there are conversations that we need to have uh, after the slam and and so that we engage more with one another and, and get a sense of, of of how how we move as a people so that we can actually make poetry a bit popular Back, back, back to the conversation that, that you and I are having is the thing about hosting slams or what people don't realize about hosting slams is number one as, as, as a founder or as a facilitator uh, there's, there's a lot of mental prep that you have to do mm -hmm. yeah and in that mental prep there's also relationships that you have to keep mm. you know um, 
and, and especially on the business side of things, you know. Uh, for one, you can't really host a slam in a place where the other person is not benefiting from, mm. you know. Excuse me. And as a growing organization, uh, financially, we are not at the level that we want to get to, mm. you know. Excuse me. And that's why these things do take time to put together. Uh, not only because of the finances, but the, the business side of things where you have to now do a proposal, you know, mm. and the proposal has to make business sense to you and the other person. Usually it makes business sense for us because I mean, like, we're there to, to, cr uh, to create and connect content, yeah. you know, uh, but usually when it comes to booking spaces and hosting a slam at a, at a restaurant, people are not that easily giving mm. uh, with their spaces, you know. Uh, some spaces have changed, some relationships have changed, and some relationships have moved, you know. So, right now, I'm in the process of rebuilding, like literally from scratch. I was telling my close friend the other day that every six months, literally, literally, every six months of words in my mouth, something changes. It's either the people change, or the people leave, in terms of the team, or um, we have to find a new space or we have to we have to change our business systems you know yeah. so every six months there's, 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 there's a there's a shift and there's a change and that is really exciting i won't lie but it can be a bit stressful you know mm. um unplanned for yeah, yeah yeah so if you have a space out there restaurant particularly in our space Please, <laughs> I'll send you a proposal. <laughs>